are you lying on my daughter? Hey. He put a you program on my head. This is over there. Don't give him a hug. I don't. She know I love you. And then you just come up with a program that I said I'm bringing my program. And this is the program I was going to bring you. Ain't it? Yes. That's my daughter. You, you, but you know what I'm saying. I, we don't, she always doing that to my daughter, though, because my daughter is tired of the community. This is what my daughter. This is what my daughter tired of. You see me up here. Remember yesterday I came up here and asked for that $10? I'm telling you. Let me talk to you. I'm talking to you, I'm gonna talk to you. Since you're talking to him, we're gonna get into this together. Since you're talking about me behind my back, I'm, I, I'm here. Your back. But this is what happened. My daughter, we, I've run programs since 2014. I've run the only successful program for the youth in November with the kickball. And, then, and when they gave me the money, it was my money I gave to the children. 2015 come around, they said they don't wanna do it no more. We, the MIC, RL and RL Sanders and B. Mitchell and my mama. <laughs> I don't know who they were. Well, MIC didn't want to do the program anymore. Hey, what's going on? So what we did, we went up there. I went and got all the youth in the community. Cause we have a problem with in our community with drugs, gangs, people being shot. We have violence, and those and they're not being committed. Nala, come here. They're not being committed by Nala. She is not selling to Nala is not, my granddaughter is not selling drugs in the community. I'm trying to protect my granddaughter from the drug dealers in the community when she goes outside to play. Now, she is afraid of everyone. Me, I'm not afraid of anyone. So when I come down, when RL come down, you get nervous. Should you, you nervous of my little daughter Chanel, and this is Chanel's daughter. You nervous of me when I come down. You nervous of every, all the leaders in our community you are nervous of. Like Chanel is the leader of all the women. The girls that push their baskets with the babies having pre out of outward pregnancies, that's my daughter and all her friends. I went down to the community center with my daughter and all her friends pregnant, pushing babies, no baby daddy, no husband, no fathers to the baby. And, and we, we went down to talk to you, didn't we? And what happened when we went to the meeting? They said, y'all start y'all on. That's why you see me every day up here because when I tried to work with them then, they turned around and looked at me and all the children in the community they said, you start your own. I said, but why would I reinvent the wheel when, if I gotta start my own, I gotta come down here. You that was wasn't, there. But that wasn't my voice. But whoever, and you would, y'all agreed. Hold on. No, I don't, I don't even but know then, about that. But, but when I go down there, I'm always peaceful. Yes. But I'm always. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm, I don't, I, I think what you've been doing over here, I've been saying some good stuff. I, I'm cool with it. All I'm saying is just be mindful. And, Everybody's coming. When you go down, don't expect just because you're down and everything's not everything. Do I ever what go in? in? No, you don't do it. But I'm there every day. What I'm saying is, if you need to be put her by doing something, just let her do it. I didn't even go down there to do me. I was just down there. My son was playing basketball by himself. So I went down there to pick him up. So then my daughter got out the car and said, Look, let's go talk to Miss Edna. So I was talking to Miss Edna in the front, and there was a guy sitting there. So he was like, yeah, and he was like, yeah, what are you doing? I was like, well, yeah, I'm the only black man in this community that's in my demographic actually working to help the community with the heroin and everything and the gang and everything. And there's another man, RL, who's our only elder. So it's only me and RL, the only people trying to help our people. But me and RL, it's always, we be, I love the joy, but it seems like she is working as an agent against us. So that's why we're always saying, say it. She has specific programs that she has to do. It seems. She has a job to do that I never really sweated her about that. Don't I, disrespect When I went down there. She does a great job. I'll go down there. Do I ever disrespect you? You know, today, I just wanted you to not keep speaking out loud to the guests that I had at the center. But that was you, disrespectful But this is what them. I feel. I Isn't feel it's disrespectful to them? No. Yes, I feel you, you can't, you but can't. what I feel, I, I feel if it was disrespectful for them, they should have got up and said, I'm sorry, no, can you please? No, they're there, they're there, they have a, we have No, a this is my community. Bo, if I got to go to my community center Stop. and then people are there Dude. feeling disrespected when I speak, that's jacked up. But Bo, you don't walk into those the folks, place. Those folks are funded by particular grants 
They have a specific focus. Well, how come I'm not focused? How come we got drug dealers and killers in my community and my program is not focused on the people that I work with? It's the people that are killing them, oh. selling the drugs. She don't have a program for She got a program for children. And you got these white people in here. It ain't no white people selling drugs in my community. Those are black kids that's going to jail for selling them drugs in my community. Those are children that look up to me. And I try to help them what? I got my teeth knocked out. I got shot out here because they won't let me in there and work in the center. I got to come way over here to work. By the time I get over there, somebody's dead laying down in the street. It's somebody's getting pulled over by the jail. Yeah. Mark's giving me that opportunity to use all these facilities. That's, and and then, you know what I take that as? Cool. I, I take that as, oh yeah, that's a thumb in my mouth, a pacifier, because I'm supposed to be at that center with those children out there selling drugs, influencing them to come into the building and not out there, giving them something to love, giving them something they're interested in, giving them a hope, giving them dreams, giving them future. I'm supposed to be there. But without we me there, you don't because they don't look up to you. They don't look up to her. They don't look up to Nala. They don't look up to Chanel. They don't look up to RL. They look up to me. And you can't get to these black children by looking around me. I, You've been trying it. Pastor. You work with the schools. Did I try? And what did they send? I did my clinical hours with you, didn't I? When I was at University of Akron, I came down and did a couple clinical hours with King Kennedy. I did all my clinical hours with Ravenna High School, right? Get out of school, graduate. I think I'm going to be doing something good. I'm, I'm proud. I'm a black man, made it out the neighborhood. I graduated college. I've got an exercise science and physiology degree. I know exercise science and physiology from sports science. I can cure diabetes. My mother is walking up and down the street with heart surgery, back surgery, and diabetes. I did that. But then when I walk in the community to go to the community center, can I run the program for exercise? I'm like, you got to give me this. And Ms. Edna got to sit in the corner and go to sleep. I can't get in. Then I come down. She said, I can do the program. If I get down, I try like then I say I don't want to disrespect your people, so I always try to do mine after you're done. And, you, and, you and then so what I do, I go down there, and then a lot of times you're not there. The door locked, and I got a program. But I don't, Is anybody in there? But I don't know what time of those programs. You know, I give you. The, I'm always professional. I'm never but the out of line. The last time you had a program, the last time you had a program, that tutoring program, I was there, there to open up, and I, I was there. Yeah, and it was. Miss Edna had to say when you would leave, Miss Edna would be yeah, there. Yeah, because I do get to work early. And, and then she was falling asleep on it, and I felt bad. <laughs> I, and, and then I'm trying to teach. And, and, well, she is so I love. That's why I'm saying I want to say hi to Miss Edna. But when I'm doing my program that year, I felt bad that she wanted to go home, and the only reason she is here is because of me. Like I'm gonna steal some books nope. to tear the place up. That's not it. That is not it. You know what I think? As why? That's what I'm saying. Why right, you gotta understand. I like to see how programs run. Well, I like to see how programs run. And like, like I told you,